Okay, welcome back to Planet Crafter. This is Mark with Northern Ants. I've been playing a lot, trying to build up as much as I can. I've been busy working on filling all of these, which that one still needs to go, but I'm getting some, some engines built up. Figures it's raining right when I go to record, so it's a little extra loud. Um, but I've been trying to get to where I'm unlocking some stuff, and I did just unlock the Tree Spreader 2, T2. So we're going to build one of those. Let's gather up the materials that we need. First off, let's head over to this side. We're going to need a fertilizer. I appreciate it. Oh, it's the Tier 2 fertilizer. That shows how bad my memory is. I just looked at it. Um, okay, and we need one of those. We're going to need a tree bark. And a super alloy. And one of the Z uh, right here. We're going to need one of those. And we're going to need a super alloy. So we got a lot of that. And we got, I've actually got another super alloy set up in the other building too. Okay, now the tree spreader. We're going to need tree seeds also. So we're going to go set it up, and then we will come in and get a... I'm hoping that the Tier 2 will let us set it up and not have to be in the water. Exactly, good. Yeah, because the Tier 1s, you have to be in the water to set it up. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put this? There's a little bit of an open area right here. Yeah, it's good right there. Okay, now we gotta go make a seed. Probably gonna need some water, which I've got quite a bit stocked up, but... We'll go grab it from all of our... Actually, what we'll do is we're gonna pull the seed from this one. I don't like that it when you pull the seed, I don't like how it pulls all the trees. I kind of wish it didn't do that. And put it in there. Okay, so now we'll be able to get trees away from the water's edge. And we'll go make another seed for that one. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more what I've done around the base. As you can see, I've got a couple more of the uh, labs that produce air. And I've got these generators, which I think you saw me set one of these up. And I've got a lot of the oxygen producers here. I do have a better seed inside the base, which I don't really want to take it away from it. But let's see, plants. Yeah, see, these are there's a 400%. I do have this one, which is a 500%. But I think what I'll do is I'll try to make a seed, a tree out of that. We'll go see what um, is this. If we look at the DNA. Okay, that would be this one. So all we need is a tree bark. And one of the... I do not have any of the better ones of those yet. But we need a tree bark. Let's see what we need to make that other petri dish this one here so we need okay I got one of those I need methane and sulfur methane and I've got sulfur over here okay now we can put this stuff in the DNA splicer and research it and it'll take a little time to produce that. Let's see what do we have in our inventory that okay, we got a lot of water on us. Let's go eat something. I've got some food set up over here. And we're gonna put our water away. Okay, let's I 
do have an aluminum, another aluminum case set up here. Oh, plus, I'll show you this. I've got this set up. This is all of my planters now. So I can go through and especially these eggplants. We need those for doing a lot more than some of the other stuff. Ah, if you don't click right on the plant, it just opens the menu up for it. They do have a tier two planter, but I've found that it grows quick enough. The smaller one doesn't really matter if it's the small or the big. It grows fast enough. Don't have very many mushrooms. I never found too many of those uh, seeds. Okay, let's head back down. Oh, I've got this too. This is the uh, recycler. The shredder, I mean. It doesn't give you anything back. It just breaks it down. Kind of throws it away. We're going to go put this stuff in here. Because I've got another plant one over there, but it's completely full. So we're just going to put that stuff here. And... Oh, I want to show you all something over this way. I discovered another underground base. I did... Oh, here, we'll go in here quick. Um, I have these extractors. I had three of the um, small ones set up, but I wanted to have more production. For the red mineral. Oh, let's uh, pull the last of it out of there. Try to always remember to empty them. And then when, and try to grab all the red first because then you can just kind of go from the end here. And just grab throw everything off and we're gonna run inside real quick and grab a little oxygen because I don't have any oxygen with me okay we're gonna want to head out of the cave here and I can drink right from the lakes now once you hit a certain point things start to take a lot longer to come along to produce, to upgrade, to, you know, it's, it becomes a little more time consuming. That's why I haven't put out, I was putting out an episode a day, but I kind of ran out of uh, stuff to do. Oh, <laughs> I missed this last time. Oh, wow. Well, if you didn't know, this satellite has a compartment on it. So don't forget to check that when you come across the satellite dish. Okay, we keep going along here. reason I discovered this because I was going along the wall trying to see if I could find any extra openings. There's a case on the other side there and then you can go down here and there's actually a bunch of cases down here and a, if you go down along, let's get our flashlight, there's a little bit of an underground tunnel and then we have this. Oh, we want to make sure if you see any mushrooms always open them. And then we have this extra message. I'll let you read that or you can pause it and read it. 
since I am going to be out of oxygen soon. This is not an oxygenated place, so I don't want to stay down here too long. Now, oh, uh, I think I'm going to head over this way because I do have, see I have a little uh, building right over here. When I came here, I came up over the hill there because that the other ship is right there. It's always good to have these kind of placed around the the area. Gives you somewhere to take shelter if you need to get oxygen and things like that. A lot of times I like to set up a storage case in there too, but that one I don't have yet. See, here's that other big ship. I want to get back over to our base. I'm still trying to think of if there, I wonder if there's anything up on tops of all these high cliffs. If there'll ever be a point when we can get up there. Should have that extra tree seed too. Go put in that other planter. Yeah, see, yeah. I like. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of mixed emotion on if you know how these don't actually touch. I wish. I kind of wish it would lock and then let you build down below it. See, I had to kind of offset it, and it's still not even holding it. So you really don't need those under there. It just makes it look more realistic than it just being kind of floating in the midair. Okay, let's grab the that seed. Yeah, see, now we got some more. Got a couple more aluminum here. The super alloy, I've got a ton of it now. did use some of the super alloy but not much of it yeah we'll leave that super alloy in there for right now and we'll go put the seed in get those trees back here for watching i do really appreciate it i hope you have a great rest of your day remember to smash that like button and if you're not subscribed yet please do that right now it helps the channel out greatly it's super easy and it's free have a great rest of your day